Okay. This is one of my personal favorites. Dual boards! It is the snowboard equivalent to snowblades. Uh, you have two miniature snowboards, one on each foot, so you still go down the hill sideways like you normally would, but you have your nose kick, and then binding, and then tail kick, and then that's it on that foot. And then on your other foot, you have another one. And I cannot begin to describe how dumb of an idea that is. And one of the reasons this is one of my favorites is because I've met the dude multiple times. He's ridden, he's ridden at Brack a lot. Ridden they, Keystone. They used to send like groups to the Dew Tour to be like on hill models yeah. for him and shit and do yeah. tours or whatever. I think that's actually one of the one of the times I ran into him was at Dew Tour, and uh, I think it was the one at Dew Tour was he was in the line and started chatting me up for whatever reason. I don't know why he targeted me. Uh, you're you're very meek looking in your gear. I guess. I don't know. I'm going to buy you a puffy. But the thing, I mean, so maybe, I don't know. Maybe he thought I was a chick at first. Because back then, I think that's when I was wearing a bunch of Holden. So I was wearing really tight oh. pants. So maybe he thought I was a chick. I don't know. Either way, uh, he was trying to sell me on him. And I just stopped him about 13 seconds into his spiel. And I just said... Dude, you know what? You follow me through the park, you hit every feature I hit, and I'll buy a set. And this was so long ago, I don't remember what his excuse was, but he gave me some bullshit excuse as to why he couldn't. And the really reason is because they're useless, and you can't ride them in park. You can't ride them in POW. That was another day. Another POW day where, again, I ran into the same dude, and again, he tried to convince me to buy these things. So I told him, basically same story. I said, you follow me, you keep up from... Top all the way down, I will buy a set. Same story. Gave me some bullshit excuse. Why he fucking could it? The real answer is because those things are fucking stupid. So I had a friend that did staging for Dew Tour, and she found two pairs of them that they left behind for people, and her response was to throw them in the garbage. Good. That's where they belong. They still had bindings on. She's like, I didn't even take the bindings off because they were like old Burton customs that were like eight years old. She just whipped them right in the trash. Again, like we were talking about with the rotational bindings in one of the other segments, people that come up with these stupid ideas always riding old shit. Oh, yeah. My favorite interaction was preseason park at Keystone. I was with my friend Tyler Pence and... A uh, bunch of other people, but Tyler skis, and we were just sitting around shooting the shit, and this kid comes waddling over, because that's how he was with these things on his feet. He waddled. Yeah, yeah. He had that reflective, circular, circular reflective Sean White jacket. Oh, yeah. He had bought it at Ski Rex for $16, because Zara, yeah. our friend Zara, had sold it to him. She literally remembered the kid, she was there with me. He came over to me, he's like, what's up, guys? And I was like, what's up, nerd? And, uh... He looks at me and he's like, these things are pretty sick, huh? And I was like, I mean, if you want to blow your knee, they're great. And he looked at me and he's like, what? And I was like, these things are a fucking death trap for your knee. You're going sideways down a hill instead of facing forward. I was like, with a non-releasable binding. I was like, the old ski blades had non-releasable bindings and were one of the leading causes of tib-fib plateau fractures. Because they would catch and then just crack and crack and you would end up with a tricompound fracture, mm -hmm. or worse. And Spiral femoral fractures. Yes. And so he looked at me, and he's like, no, these things are sick. And I was like, oh, yeah? Go hit some rails with me. He's like, well, I've been hitting these boxes over here. These were literally ride-on yeah, boxes. Yep. Yeah, you know which ones I'm talking about. The, oh, dis yeah. the disco box, which yep. is really fun to do, like a tripod butter onto. Yeah, yeah, things like maybe an inch off the ground, if that. It's pretty much just a sheet of it's Lexan. A pad. It's a sheet of Lexan on the snow. So he's sitting there, and he just keeps going on and on, and I just keep belittling him, and he's so dumb he couldn't catch it. And the other thing was, he was drinking a 25-ounce can of Corona. Just, like, slamming it like like it was nothing. I was just like, okay, Corona in a can, whatever. Um, but yeah, he's slamming it, and finally he looks at me, he's like, dude, people didn't like snowboarding when it first started, and you guys got shit on, and you should be, like, on my side. And he just kept talking down to me, he's like, you don't even know, and I looked at him, and I was like, son... I do remember that. My brother remembers that. I remember fighting 50-year-old dudes in the lift line when I was 16 in the mid-90s. Because Western New York is 7 to 12 years behind the times on everything. And he, I, I was just like, why don't you just shut the fuck up? Because these things are pieces of shit. Go over there, 
hit a couple features that proved to me they could do it. And you know what he did? He fucking did a split on these things because one foot kicked out the other yeah. way. It just he ended up getting shame trained off the hill. Yeah. And it was the funniest thing. But I was like, and it, what was it? I think one year at Breckenridge, they came up to me. And I just was like, no, I'm not this. And just walk away. God, that's what I need to start doing. I, I do that. Or or I'll just do sign language at them. Yeah. And just walk away. And they're just like. But those things were such a fucking shit idea. And I don't think they exist anymore. I hope they don't. But you know where they started, don't you? No. Big Bear. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. A lot of these really terrible ideas come out of SoCal. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the goddamn Bromuda Triangle of bad is. ideas. It's not the Bromuda Triangle. It's the Bromuda. Because yeah. it's always some bros that create it. It is. Every time. It's oh, my God. That bro that's revolutionizing snowboarding. Or something. Or going to create something. Probably funded by his rich trust of Fire and Dead. Probably has a house in Malibu. Yeah. If you want to just blow a bunch of money in snowboarding, you could just sign up for Angry Snowboarder VIP. I'll just set a $20,000 a month tier. Yeah, we can do that for you. We can do that for you. Yeah. Um, it's fucking so bad. I fucking hate these things. Like, that's just... That's, talk about straining on your knees. Because your trailing foot is always going to have pressure on the inside of your knee. Yeah. you're always having to bring it back in, bring, bring it, it back, back in. in. I, I... Just... Why? It, it, you literally mounted a ski blade sideways that doesn't release. And that, like, and that's the other thing is I look at these things and I always try to think to myself, like, where was the thought process to go from, I want to create something for snowboarding, and then you land there? Like, did you just see ski blades and say, I want ski blade version of for snowboarding? And if you did, why? Ski blades are stupid. I mean, they're. No, they're stupid. There's no redeeming value to ski blades. So why would you try to create that for snowboarding? It's okay. <sighs> I am friends with the guy that got the first gold medal on ski blades at the X Games. Was it the only one? No, he Did went it? twice. Did he do twice? But he was skiing for Dina Star, and they told him that they would give him a buttload of money to do it. So he's got an X Games gold medal, I think, from that. Or maybe, maybe he got silver. I can't remember. I don't know. What I do know is that he's had like five knee replacements. <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> if you want to ride dual boards, you're going to get a knee replacement. Yeah. So, fuck those things. Yes, yes. They're awful. <laughs>